Hi, I'm Brian DeCord and welcome to the Hockey Goaltending Companion DVD. The Goaltending Consultant Group is made up of several of the top goalie coaches from across North America. We've put together this video to demonstrate the many tactics, techniques, and strategies necessary to be successful between the pipes. Work hard, have fun, and get better today. I'm David Flint from the Goaltending Consultant Group. In this off-ice segment, we're going to show you exercises that will help you improve your flexibility, your quickness, agility, strength, and power. In order to maximize your potential on the ice, it is important to make the commitment off the ice. Here is a series of exercises to increase the strength in your upper and lower body. For sumo squat jumps, assume a stance with your feet wider than shoulder width apart and your toes pointing outward. Put your hands on either side of your head. Squat down until your thighs are parallel to the ground and then explode up as quickly as you can. As you come down, try to land softly, then repeat. Make sure to keep your head and chest up and only use your legs, not your arms, during this exercise. To perform stride jumps, assume a three-point stance with your feet crossed and shoulder width apart and your knees fully flexed. From this position, push off your left leg and jump laterally to the right as far as you can. Land on your right leg and touch the ground with your left hand. Pause, then repeat the same motion on the other side. Begin split jumps by assuming a stance with one foot in front of the other. Bend your front leg 90 degrees and slightly flex your other leg. Now jump as high as you can and while in mid-air, switch your legs so that you land opposite your starting position. Begin power drops on your back with a partner standing on a chair or bench near your head. Have a partner drop a medicine ball toward your chest. Catch and bring it down to your chest, then explosively throw it back to your partner all in one motion. Don't bounce the ball off your chest or try to catch the ball with your arms fully extended. For the kneeling one arm put, assume a kneeling position holding a medicine ball at shoulder level. Twist to the side placing the ball in one hand, then uncoil as you extend the arm and rotate the body pushing the medicine ball as far away from your body as you can. If you have a partner, they can catch it and throw it back or you can use a wall. Make sure to train both sides. For kneeling side throws, kneel down with your shoulders perpendicular to a partner or wall positioned about eight feet away. Twist your torso and arms and throw the medicine ball to your partner or the wall. After you perform the desired number of reps on this side, repeat on your other side. Here is a series of exercises to increase your flexibility.
We begin with the lunge walk. Make sure that your forward knee does not extend over your toes and your back knee doesn't touch the floor. Keep your chest and head up. Next is the lateral lunge walk. Take lateral steps about twice your shoulder width. Keep one leg stationary while flexing your knee to stretch your groin. Begin the shuffle in a squatting position with your knees and hips bent. Start shuffling, making sure your legs don't cross. For the Russian march, keep your legs and arms straight while kicking your legs as high as possible. Begin the Spider-Man with your hands on the ground next to your feet. Walk out to a push-up position, drop your hips to the ground, and bring your feet forward until they are even with your hand. Now stand up, reset yourself, and repeat. Perform the high knee exercise by running forward, keeping your knees up as high as they can go. For butt kicks, simply run forward while kicking your heels to your butt as fast as you can. Lastly, for the karaoke, repeat this pattern. Cross your left leg over your right, move your right leg back to the starting position, then cross your left leg behind your right. Here is a series of exercises to improve your quickness and agility. Go. Begin the underhand catch drill by facing a partner standing about two to three feet away holding two tennis balls at eye level. As each tennis ball is dropped, try to catch it underhand before it hits the floor. You can make this drill more challenging by catching the balls overhand. Begin the goalie explosiveness drill with a partner holding tennis balls and standing 10 feet from the goalie. 
The goalie should be on his or her knees. As the partner drops one of the balls, the goalie must stand up and sprint, trying to catch the ball before it hits the ground twice. The most important part of this drill is to make sure that the goalie gets up with the correct leg. If the goalie has to sprint to the left, he or she must get up using his or her right leg first and drive toward the ball. The goalie should recover with his or her left leg moving to the right. Stand about 6 to 10 feet away from a wall and have a partner stand behind you with two tennis balls. As the tennis ball is thrown against the wall, try to catch it before it gets by you. As a variation, when your partner says go, he or she will throw the ball and you will turn as quickly as you can and try to catch the ball before it gets by you. Begin the stability ball drill by kneeling on the ball facing either a partner or a wall. Play catch with one ball and then progress to two and three. As a variation, after you have mastered kneeling on the ball, try standing and playing catch. When practicing this, make sure you are in an open area and have someone spotting you. Begin the forward one in drill by alternating one foot in each square. Touch both feet in each square for the forward two in drill. Lead with your right foot the first time and then with the left the second time. Begin to close the five-hole drill by quickly bringing your feet together inside the square, then jumping so that both feet are straddling the next square. Repeat this pattern the length of the ladder. Begin the three-point shuffle drill by standing to the left of the ladder. Follow this pattern. Step with your right foot into the square, followed by your left. Then step out the right side of the ladder with your right foot. Reverse these steps going back the other direction at the next square. Practice these ladder drills at a slow pace before increasing your speed. Begin the scissors drill with your right foot in the first square and your left outside the square with shoulders parallel to the ladder. Position your left arm forward and your right arm back. Switch your feet and arms at the same time as you move your left foot in the square 
and your right foot outside the square, reversing your arm position. Repeat this pattern the length of the ladder. For the karaoke drill, start with your right shoulder facing the ladder. Follow this pattern. Right foot inside the first square. Cross your left foot over your right and put it in the next square. Place your right foot in the next square and cross your left foot behind your right into the next square. Alternate crossing over in front and then behind. Stop in the puck is the key to goaltending success. In the following segment, we'll show you the many save techniques available for goaltenders. Visually tracking the puck is the key to making a save, so watch this segment carefully. The stance is your foundation for success between the pipes. A quality stance begins from the feet up. The skates should be slightly greater than shoulder width apart. The stick blade should be extended in order to steer pucks and the glove and blocker must be forward and not creating double coverage. Begin the butterfly in an inverted V stance. Drop into the butterfly by allowing your skates to flare outward while driving the knees toward the ice and staying big. Your pads should be flush along the ice and flared. Your knees should be shut tightly, protecting the five hole area. The stick blade should be positioned out in front of the pads to either steer or cushion oncoming shots. Glove and blocker height will be determined by the proximity of the puck. The butterfly steer save is used to deflect pucks to the corner of the rink using the stick blade. From a butterfly stance, position the blade of your stick so that it moves in an arc from your midline. Be aware that it's the angle of the blade that dictates where the puck will be directed. When steering the stick blade, your shoulder should turn slightly in the same direction, but not too much as this exposes the net. Your upper body and gloves should remain compact but with a slight rotation. When the puck is close to the net, a butterfly will provide maximum coverage. To perform the save, simply drop into the butterfly and allow the puck to carom off your pads. The back diagonal angle in which the pads lie on the ice allows the puck to ricochet off toward the corner of the ice. The flare of the butterfly is tighter on off angle shots than on midline shots. As the puck moves into the tight zone, your hands should move closer to your body and down to perform good blocking coverage. For shots coming from the perimeter or slot, your hands should be up to either direct pucks with the blocker or catch them with the trapper. Your buttocks and shoulders must stay up to keep good coverage and maintain the balance necessary to recover after a save. A butterfly smother is used to swallow up the puck in a butterfly position and not allow the rebound. When the puck is shot 12 inches or higher off the ice and between both armpits, the butterfly smother is used to trap the puck in the body pocket. From a butterfly position, as the puck enters your body pocket, your elbows must be tight to your body so that nothing gets through. Next, bring your glove in, under, and up your midline to trap the puck. 
Don't bring your blocker across your midline, but lock it tight to your body along with the blocker elbow. When making the in, under, and upward movement with the glove, don't release your glove side elbow from your body. This will prevent the puck from squeezing through. The butterfly leg extension technique allows you to reach both posts in the inverted V position. To perform the leg extension, leave the butterfly position and extend your leg to reach any pucks going to the low corner of the net. Use a leg extension rather than a leg kick to make sure the rebound goes to the corner. To make a half butterfly save, drop into a full butterfly, but keep one pad slightly raised. Your foot should be extended and slightly back, diagonal of the knee. Your weak side leg should be flared and flush to the ice, while your glove and blocker maintain a compact position within the upper part of the stance. Rotate your hips and chest slightly in the direction where the puck is headed. This positioning allows your torso to pivot while your chest goes toward and then over the puck. Begin the butterfly paddle down save technique by leaning forward and dropping your paddle. The glove should be over the extended pad and your blocker side pad should be extended. The first movement in the Stand Up Smother Save is to tighten up your elbows to your rib cage and move your trapper hand under and up the front of your body to receive the puck. The blocker moves in but does not disrupt the glove from smothering the puck. Your stick should be centered and in position for a rebound. The save is complete when the puck is smothered inside your body pocket. You can also move